The weather wasn't cooperating with us or the teams this week, but we were able to stop by Marlboro High to see the baseball team take on the Westboro Rangers. In the bottom of the third inning with a runner on third, Marcelo Cunna strikes out looking, giving the Panthers two outs in the inning. This brings up John Rumney, who drives the ball to center field, but not deep enough as it is caught to end the inning. We move to the bottom of the fourth, and with runners on first and second, Kevin Sarah slaps the ball the other way, and it is misplayed by the left fielder, which allows both runners to score, cutting the deficit to three. Now in the fifth, with a runner on first, Marlboro is trying to chip away at the lead, but Matthew Thal chases a pitch low and away and strikes out to end the inning. Garrett Harrington, who came in relief, gets some help with a nice play at third by Matt Bertocci and a nice pick on the other end by Patrick Warren. With one last chance, Marcelo kind of singles to center to put runners on first and second. That does it for Westboro pitcher Jack Curtis, who finishes the game one out short of a complete game. Mike Power comes in and gets John Rumney to ground out weekly to end the game and give Westboro their first win of the year. The loss is Marlboro's first of the season and their first in league play. Michaela Vernava caught up with the Acevit softball team at practice on Wednesday. 2013 was an exciting and historic season for the Acevit softball team. Led by head coach Mike O'Brien, the girls went on to win a Division III state championship, something that hadn't been done in any team sport in the school's history. One, two, three, three. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Women. Women. Team, Aztecs, commitment. Three simple words that helped bring a state title to a school that had never had one before. Winning a state title is something that every high school team dreams about, and we work so hard to get there. It's really exciting, and it feels good to make history. Leading this team to the record books is Mike O'Brien, better known as Coach Ob. This season marks O'Brien's sixth as head coach of Aztec softball, and since he took command, this team has had a winning percentage above 800. Ob is probably, I've never had like a coach more dedicated. He's, he's a really, really good guy. He would do anything for us. He's hard, but it's because he cares. He says, if I'm not yelling at you, I don't care. So, I, you know he cares if he's yelling. I don't have, I'm not, I'm not a father, so I, uh, I take all the girls on the softball team as like my children. So I take it very seriously when it comes to that. O'Brien has high standards for his players, but not just on the field. Academic excellence is expected, an effort in the classroom required of each and every team member. I'm very proud of this. Uh, over the last three years, our GPA has been above 3.5, 3.6 for a varsity program. Our girls are all part of the National Honor Society. Honor roll, I mean, this is something they do. We expect A's and B's. There's no excuses, uh, so we don't allow it, and the girls are very good in tune with that. With the core of last year's team returning, Coach Obi hopes for another playoff run this season. And his players are prepared to work to defend their title. We want to, you know, one, get back to the districts, two, get into the district title game, and then three, if, if we have an opportunity, God willing, uh, get into the States. Losing the first game like kind of knocked us down a peg because we were, we kind of, like our heads were a little big at the beginning of the season. Like we came in like, oh, we won a state title, but I think we're back to reality now. Like we're going to have to work just as hard as we did last year. I definitely think that this team is something that everyone should be watching. For WMCT TV, I'm Michaela Vernava. Since we weren't able to catch all the action, we'll leave you with some scores from earlier in the week. For WMCT TV Sports, I'm Tom Brown.